All right, moving on to the Naha, one of my favorite uh, places in Germany, and definitely one of the most beautiful, and that's the Naha River. And uh, the village of Oberhaus is just on the other side of the river. So in terms of this climate, it's a mild continental climate. Again, you're heading further north from where we just were. Soils, generally speaking, are slate and quartzite, but also you have some volcanic and sandstone. It's only about 10,000 acres in size. And grape varieties here, they're Riesling, again, since you're close to the Rheingau and also closer to the Mosul, Riesling by far the most important grape. And here making some truly, truly profound wines. Producers, and we have to talk about this because again, we mentioned Dunhoff but also Schlossgut Diel, and Armand Diel being one of the most important people in German wine over the last 30 years in terms of promoting dry wines on a global scale, but also the great German dry wines and the great cuisine in, in different places in Europe and Asia and the US. Uh, Emmer Schoen label, one of my personal favorites, uh, Martin Tesch, who's, who's a fantastic guy whose uh, dry wine is the only wine served at the largest heavy metal festival in Germany. I'm sorry, the name escapes me, but it's just great. And then uh, Kruger Rumpf and Prince Susalm. Important vineyards will certainly Oberhäuser Brücke for, uh, uh, for Denhoff, hugely important. Münziger Hallenberg for Immerschön Labor, and again, uh, Schloss Birkelheim and Kupfergruber, also, also for uh, uh, Denhoff and other people. And there is one of the, the vineyards that Dunhoff uses, the Oberhäuser Felsenberg, and that's the oldest part of the vineyard, that little castle that dates, I believe, from the 1880s. Very, very steep vineyard. And fantastic Rieslings coming from this vineyard.